Hey, hey, you guys, what's up, keto brothers and sisters? It's your favorite little keto goofball slash yo yo, Keto Diamond. And today is 874 of my ketogenic journey, going from 311.8 pounds down to wherever I get. <laughs> and so far, I've lost 136.8 pounds. I'm going to weigh in in just a minute and tell you where I'm sitting. I've also got rid of 24 medically diagnosed diseases. Sitting beside me is my husband, Mr. KD. He has started keto October 4th of this year for the second time. <laughs> and thus far, used it to lose about 30 pounds. 50 if you ask him, but 30 if you're doing it right. <laughs> We're going to show you what we ate yesterday. It was perfectly keto friendly. Then we'll be right back with a chit chat and a weigh in. Let's rant, rave, misbehave, and we'll get rolling. me and hubby for lunch are having a Dave's triple each that I've added bacon to um, and a side salad with two ranches. I got a pack of mayonnaise and a pack of mustard. Yay? Yay. <laughs> so, so it's dinner time. We've got beef, Rayo's tomato basil marinara sauce, and some Parmesan cheese. It's actually a really good meal. It's, it's really, like really, 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 really good. Spaghetti without noodles and it tastes just fine. We had two keto fat, oh, one each fat bomb. You guys, I had some pork rinds you did not see uh, shown here. So my calories yesterday were 2110 carbohydrates, 19 grams of total carbs, 174 grams of fat, and 123 grams of protein. Pretty good. All right, so it might be just a little bit later in the day than I'm normally uploading, but, but we got a lot done today. I went through my house with a fine tooth comb. Well, parts of it, bits and pieces. I went through my closet with a fine tooth comb. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, you can go through the house. We're doing uh, eight closets. And, and Zach's clothes and stuff, too. But um, I got rid of a bunch of stuff. It's, it's in my blazer. It's on its way to Goodwill this evening. And we took off two truckloads of stuff that I was so glad to get out of my damn house. So it's been a very busy and active day. Let's see if I've done anything extraordinary here with steps. Well... 3,700 steps so far today. And that was all just taking off junk and cleaning up the house, so well, not too bad. More than him, yeah, because he, he, he didn't help with the, the uh, clean out of the closets and all that. I supervised. Yeah, with a video game controller in his hand or a cell phone, I don't know what it was. Um, so I've been a busy little worker bee today, very busy. But my yard looks much, much better. Much, much, much better. And the house is getting there, although you really can't tell much of a difference, even though I got rid of about four large trash bags full of stuff that we don't need. Any of it. <laughs> and there's tons more to go. So later on today, I'm gonna, I'm probably going to go ahead and post a second video and just share with you some of the stuff that got gone and what we did today and what I've been doing over the last little while. You won't see everything that I got rid of because... If I kept it around to record it, I would never get it to Goodwill, ever. I've tried it many times. Anyway, would you like to go ahead and weigh in? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, okay. Let me go ahead and turn you to him. He'll weigh in. I'll be right back. How you doing, people? Another day, another dollar, ain't it? Well. Not really. You ain't at work. We were spending dollars today. Okay, we're spending money. We ain't making money. We're spending money. Uh, yesterday... We told you about my doctor visit and how they made me eat some crackers and we thought I got kicked. Let me start out by saying no, I was not kicked. I checked when I got home and I was still in ketosis. So that was good. It was much later in the day when you checked. Yeah, it was much later in the day. But it's, it takes me a couple days to come back in ketosis, so yeah. definitely wasn't kicked. Uh, but the crackers did have an effect. I weighed 153 even yesterday. This morning, 148. 158 point 154.8 I'll get it right here in a minute it's 1.8 pounds up yeah 1.8 pounds up again I do want to see that 150 gold but I'm not stressed about it I am other than my back and a few other things going on I am completely healthy 
I'm not overweight at all. So, it is what it is. One day I might see that 150 just because, you know, I put I made that goal for myself. But until then, I'm happy where I'm at. Uh, y'all want to y'all want to talk to Diamond? Take you now. Well, yeah, she's gonna take it anyway. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, so we have just got to the post office. We're gonna run in there and check it and see if there's anything cool in it. But first, I'll go ahead and weigh in for you. No, no reason to keep you in suspense. I was hoping for a new low, which I did not get. I did not get a new raise either though. Um, I stayed the exact same as yesterday. I was 175.2 and today I'm 175.2. I was hoping so much to go but down. Didn't go up, didn't go down. Tomorrow's right. always another day. That's right. Tomorrow's our grandsons. Our our baby grandson's gonna be one years old tomorrow. Do you believe that? Oh my god. I can't believe he's gonna be one. And then our oldest grandson, he'll be six in just a few weeks. His birthday is January 9th. They grow up fast, people. They do. And we'll have another grandbaby right after that. So it, yeah, it's it's getting to be wild. We we're gonna go after we do the post office and get this uploaded. Hopefully we'll get this uploaded before we go do the other stuff. Um, we got to go get Anthony's cupcakes, his chips, his ice cream, all that good stuff. And there will be family and friends tomorrow. We're going to have a bonfire. Unfortunately, baby Anthony is sick. He got the same virus that Zach had last week. Um, he's, he's doing good, though. He's doing better than Zach was doing. But they but they took him as soon as he started having symptoms. So they went straight to the doctor. And they said it's very flu-like. So they gave him Tamiflu, I think. But something for babies that's Tamiflu-ish. Um... He's had a fever on and off, but they've been keeping it down. And uh, But he's perfectly happy. Yeah, he, he's thrilled. He's running through the house in his little walker, just smiling. Big. He's really too big for that walker. Corey measured him. He's the size of a two-year-old, that child is. The school did the cutest thing. They sent home this little, it's like a paper ornament that they've laminated. But the, on, on the front of it, it says, um, how'd they put it? There's a string on it. There's a string. This string here is a special... I can't remember how it's put, but it's a cute little rhyme. It's, this string here is special. Untie it, and you'll soon see it's the same size as me. Yeah, so that they took a piece of golden string, measured the children out, and tied it to the top of of the little ornament. And it's freaking fantastic. Plus, they sent home a plastic ornament with his fingerprints on it that he's made little snowmen out of, which I find great because when my kids went to school, they went to the same school, they got glass ornaments. And little Brian's got broken. But, I mean, that's his daddy. But I did have him make me another one. It's just a glass Christmas ball, and I got white paint. and So I still got one, but it's not the original one. But they made Zach's in plastic, and I'm thrilled about that. It's cute. Um, our Christmas uh, card wall is getting bigger, and I've got to send those Christmas cards out today or tomorrow. Or uh, they ain't going to make it before Christmas. <coughs> Don't hear that? <coughs> What else can you say? You know what? Let us run in this post office. If there's anything cool, we'll gladly share it with you. We'll be right back. Unfortunately, I can't really show you what we got uh, because it's, it's something I ordered for my daughter. But most of you could probably guess. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. I think she's really going to love that. We got our son something that I think he's going to love, too. It wasn't too expensive, but... He's going to go crazy over it. He's going to love it. Destiny's going to hate it. We're probably going to get him one more thing, too, though. Yeah, yeah, I need to get a couple more things. But for the most part, Christmas is dealt with. Um, give me keys. Kick your butt. Do it, babe. Do it. <laughs> he likes it. He, he likes the violent side, doesn't he? I ain't got no violent side. I'm too damn goofy. Um, <laughs> anyway, I don't want to quit talking, but I really ain't got nothing else to say. Oh, oh. So there was a Thomas DeLauer video this morning. I can't remember what it was called, but it's today's video. Go check it out. He had a great idea. Now, this wasn't really for blood pressure, but a lot of you guys have told me to meditate for blood pressure, right? Or go walk in or something like that. Something meditative. He was talking about visualization in, in, in scientific terms, not in the hooey terms, but in scientific -y kind of terms and uh, how good it can be for you and your life and that kind of thing. Cause your body does what it's used to. And if you visualize stuff, it might get used to that and kind of hone in on that. But he was also talking about doing it to binary beats sounds, which sound really good to me. And this sounds like a great way to meditate, uh, visualize and probably get some, some brain waves going in there that you know, are good for you. So anyway, go check out that video. It's a really nice video. And, um, 
He was also talking about how people will try to change their lives on New Year's. And I wasn't really thinking about it, but while we were cleaning out today, while I was cleaning out and we were taking all that stuff off, it is basically a way to clean up and, and help myself and us for the new year and try to get kind of like a new beginning and get rid of some of the old, out with the old, in with the new. So if you're thinking about starting keto coming this this new year why wait just, well why wait but it's almost christmas so most of them are going to yeah, wait before yeah. starting now Fair enough. Um, and i can't even promise how how well i'm going to behave tomorrow i have never ever had a family function where i did not cheat i will try not to but i'm not going to beat myself up if i do especially since we're the ones buying all the crap <laughs> that we're not going to get to eat Anyway, so I, the plan for tomorrow is to be keto. I am going to buy, you know, some pork rinds instead of potato chips, but I mm, might get some keto ice cream too. Yes. Yeah. What can I get? I'm sending him to live with y'all. I want you to know that he's coming to live with all of y'all. Little pieces in a box. If you get something, you don't got to open it. You stunk up the car, you bastard. <laughs> That's his way of telling me shut the hell up. Anyway, guys and dolls, if you need my help, my contact information is below. It does stink. Um, you can get Shashka bracelets for 50% off using my link. I don't think they'll get there in time for Christmas now, but they're super cool and you'll love them. Great for the new year too, though, right? Probably Great for any time. Yeah. There's 15% uh, off a Keto Mojo kit or any kind of things like that you might want. Some different Lakanto products. Check the link in the description below. And if you want... To get yourself something as a late Christmas gift, I've got t-shirts that I've designed in my Teespring link. Go ahead. Look at the description. Anyway, guys and dolls, much love to you. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye, y'all. Or maybe tonight. Oh, my God.